So we are out looking at manufactured homes. Um, I wasn't sure if I was gonna vlog, how I was gonna vlog, cause we only have the little kids with us. <laughs> um, and it's just kind of hard to like focus on doing things and film it. But anyways, Nathan, we had, we've been here 10 minutes and we're already having to do a potty break. I'm actually cleaning in the manufactured home because <laughs> You know, mom life. <laughs> Harper left. Harper carried a sippy cup around. I don't know why. Anyways, but Harper had to go potty. So Nathan just took her potty. So we're thinking with the land of, so there's several possibilities that we're looking into. You have to go potty now too? Okay. Drew now has to go potty. So we might as well walk that way. I just want to show you all this real quick. I'll tell you all kind of our thought process real quick with the land is get a manufactured home. So like I said, I, I, I'm not trying to like harp on the price in increase on everything, but just explaining why we're having to do what we're doing. Even the prices of manufactured homes have greatly increased. Anyway, so just getting what can work for now and we can, you know, add on down the road. So I'm gonna show you just a glimpse of this one really quick because we really like it. It's nice, it's four bedroom, two bath. We're hoping to look at some that are five, three. But I'll show you this one really quick. All right, yes, I'm coming, baby. All right, so I've got to go because children are leaving. Nathan had stepped outside, starting to walk Harper to the bathroom. <laughs> and well, the little kids, they all, they wanted to follow daddy. So I got them, they are officially with Nathan. So I wanted to show you more detail at this than what I was able to do, because well, I obviously had to make sure that they were safe first. <laughs> okay, so sorry that that video was more jumbled, but it kind of explains some of what we're doing here. So when you walk in this one, now this one is only 1800 square feet, but it is four two, but it has like some of the nicer upgrades we are leaning more towards square footage and then thinking like we can do our own personal upgrades over, you know, the next, the rest of our life because this will be forever. Anyway, so I like how it's all one room, the dining room. I like that there's doors here um, to go outside. Some of them don't have doors, but this kitchen is more upgraded, which I obviously really like, but we need square footage with our size family. Um, I really like farmhouse sinks. This one has the backsplash. I like the wood cabinets. In my dream world, I would actually choose white cabinetry, but mom life, 11 children, I think the darker is better to go. This one does have an okay size pantry. Like you could put, you know, more shelving on that side. Um, and even down lower, even maybe one more up high, but at least there's a pantry. So I love the door too. I really like that. But again, all these like extra finishes is something that we can we can change a door later like we can add backsplash later and all that sort of thing um we're focusing more on square footage but this one is very nice and kind of gives us ideas for you know what we could do in the future okay size living room i mean not too bad at all like i mean there's a full couch there so with our size family like we would need another piece of furniture like here or something but definitely doable this is the master this is like a smaller master, but again, like Nathan and I can have a smaller bedroom. That isn't a big deal. I think I would choose to actually, I don't know, would you put the bed there? I like the idea of that, but I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> these are things that I think of. Now, I really like the bathroom. Isn't this so nice? Say hi, Jessica. Hi, Jessica. <laughs> um, I really like the bathroom. I really like these doors and the shower. So like I said, more upgrades in this one bathtub, potty room, and then master closet. Oh, wow, that keeps going. That's pretty nice, huh? All right. It does, but it, this, I think, is. I think that living room is definitely bigger. What are y'all doing? What are y'all doing? Hey, kitty. <laughs> Okay, so we're in this one that is 5'3". It doesn't have like upgraded finishes and stuff, but it has a good amount of square footage. What did you say this one was, 2100? Uh, yep. 2100, so we're talking about like possibilities again for long-term 
um, vision of what we could do, but it would be something for now. What? What? No, that's not ours. We didn't have a water bottle. So anyways, this one is good, but um, we're going to go look at another one. Yeah. Okay, so this is the kitchen. So like this one doesn't have a door there, which would be easy to add. Um, again, not the upgraded kitchen. This living room is definitely smaller. Okay, I'm coming. But this one, like I said, is five bedroom, three bath, and there is a living room down there. They're leaving without me. So anyways, this one could work for sure. All right, we're going to go look at another one. All right, and the next one, this one is four, two. So the biggest thing that I would really like is a third potty, but we have two bathrooms now, like we are making it work. So we can make it work. So this one is 2254 square foot. So kind of the same. I like the whole flow of it being open. Um, as far as like living room, kitchen, this one feels bigger than the other one in this area. So it probably means that the bedrooms are smaller, but we will go see. So this, area is definitely doable. This one has a um, pantry. One of them did not. So I like this. It's an okay size room. Okay. Yep. Good size closet too. Mm -hmm. How many kids can we fit in a closet? <laughs> Harper, you and that sippy cup. You are such a silly girl. I'm just letting her be today. That is perfectly fine. Okay, so could definitely fit, you know, beds here, beds there. So this is a good size room. Hey, Drew, Drew. Which room do you like? This is the okay size room. It's a small closet. Yeah. Okay. I love this house. Can you like this one? Yeah, this is a good size. This is bigger than our bedrooms now. We have small bedrooms in our house now. All right. This is a good size room. This one's a good size, and it's got a good size yeah. closet like that one. See, fall asleep. Kenny, don't touch the blinds, baby. Kenny, no, no. Thank you. See, this is the, I think, besides not having a third bathroom, this is one that I think would work really good. What, son? What happened? Can you help him up? Come here, Georgia, you need help? Give me your hand. You got it, you big boy? Oh. Yep, so bathroom. Oh, we got a kid hiding. Obviously, shower, potty. Oh, yes. I mean, this is very good. Cool yeah, there. that's a big thing is there's usually not space for the big freezer. So washer, dryer, freezer, and we could hang up racks for extra food storage and clothes. Exterior door. Yeah, I know. We're not gonna last too long here. And then it has this whole other living room, which could be a bedroom since this is only four bedroom. We could make this a bedroom. <laughs> Hi, baby. Hi. You're so high. Okay, so believe it or not, this is actually the same square footage, but it's just layout is different. So here's the living room. Okay, dining room, kitchen, which honestly, we could make that a dining room because we, you know, need a bigger table. Um, the kitchen is very nice. I really like this style of sink. The stainless farmhouse, windows, love windows i love natural light i really like this kitchen okay so then there's another living room over here okay i have a feeling though that the bedrooms might feel smaller but well this one's not too bad so good size living room like seriously especially for our family like we could put the tv there this is a good size living room laundry with a sink. Oh my okay, so this bedroom is not, it's probably about the size of what we have now. 
So these bedrooms, this bedroom feels smaller. You need some water. Yeah. And this one even has a huge walk-in pantry. And he finally fell asleep. <laughs> That's your, just scrub your knees. It sure is. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, this one is very nice. I like the way that the living room's laid out. And the master's off of here. So this is more broken up, though, than the open like the others. I like the more open, I think. Just because it's squeezy. Yeah. But it's still good. Yeah, I mean, it's still very nice. Good yeah. Walk-in pantry all the way down. There's no electricity, so just picture all that <laughs> and better lighting. <laughs> Huge island. I really like the farmhouse sink. I like this kitchen. This dining area would be a bit small, though. I love the ship lap, too. Sliding glass door off of here. So this one's the biggest double wide that you can get as well. So another living area, which again, like we could use this as a dining room. So this is four, three, you said? You don't like it? Oh, I thought you said I don't like it. Oh, this is a Jack and Jill bathroom. Did you see that? By 14? Okay. This one here seems smaller. Is this 1114 too? Or? 1110. 1110, yeah. That's, that's the size of our bedrooms now. Yeah. 1114, I think, is like the size that we need. Yeah. And that's all the sizes yeah, in Iron Man, the, too. That's, that is the size of yeah, I'm pretty sure. I, I looked them all up online the floor plans. The other bedrooms are 14, 10 and a half, 10, 14, and, and 10, 14. Okay, so pretty close. Okay. Okay. Go round them up. This place is seriously so busy. There's so many people here. So I walked over to one of the nicer ones and I thought that I'd show you this too. So this is like one with all the upgrades. I probably shouldn't have come in here because it's really nice. <laughs> so you walk in, here's a living room. You know, like they have the built-in fireplace and bookshelves, which is really nice. Kind of like a foyer area, but it still feels pretty open. Dining room, and oh my goodness, look at this kitchen. I really like the big kitchen windows. It's like, yeah, you could fit another cabinet, but I just, oh, it's so pretty to see outside. These are really cute. <laughs> I wonder where they got those from. What does it say? Huh. Okay, anyways. Oh. Very, very nice. I would prefer it to be more open, but. This definitely works. Is this the master? Yep. Big walk-in closets. Bathroom. Oh wow, that's really nice. Toilet room. I think I like this shower with a door more. Like keep the steam in. <laughs> Big tub. Okay, let's go see these closets. Oh, they connect. There's just two doors. Definitely all the upgrades in this one. Well, I was getting my video ready. I thought everything was done and ready to go. And I realized I did not close out the video. So I'm sorry about that. So it's been a couple days. So seeing the manufactured home was a few days ago. Um, Nathan and I had taken our five younger kids out with us. The older girls stayed home. They didn't want to go. And Jackson, Miley, and Logan actually were at a friend's house. So it was definitely an adventure taking the five little ones with us, but it was a lot of fun. So we were talking with the home place and trying to figure out, you know, roughly how long 
a house would take and stuff like that. So as everything, everything is just so expensive right now. It's just a lot. <laughs> um, but the home plan, so there's two floor plans that we were kind of bouncing between that would work well for our family. And the home place actually has one of them already on order and it should be here in October or November. And we're leaning more towards this specific floor plan because the bedrooms are the biggest in it as far as like for our kids' bedrooms. And it actually has a den, like a second living room that we are gonna turn into a big bedroom for four of our daughters. It's how we're thinking would best work for us. Um, and like I said, the home place actually already has one on order instead of us like, Hey, we want to have this house, this floor plan. And then they place the order. They already have it in the works and it could be here by the time that, you know, we would need it. So we are leaning towards that house. The downside to it and where a little bit of frustration to me comes in, it's a model that we cannot adjust at all. I can't choose any of the finishes. I can't upgrade anything in it. And I don't like that, honestly. Like, it's a little frustrating to me. Um, but it's a house that would fit us. The floor plan fits. So our thought is just get it, get us out there, move our family out there, and then we can, you know, modify it over time. So, like, the kitchen, I'm not, it's not my favorite, but Nathan was just encouraging me. He's like, we can, you know, put in new cabinets. We can change it. We can do what you want over time. Um, you can't upgrade the walls, the sheetrock. Like, you can't change anything, okay? And my biggest thing is the kitchen, and I would like sheetrock. But, again, we can do all these things over time. I Like, you used to be able to modify them and change them, but the factories aren't allowing it because of supply issues and the demand of making houses so but there's some things a big thing is like I would like a door off the dining room it's just a window and I feel like these things stuff that we can do obviously over time as time and money allow us to do these things so it's exciting but that's a little frustrating for me but that's okay like the biggest thing is it's the right floor plan that would work well and it would give our kids big bedrooms which we're having two to three and the big den is actually bigger than my older girls room now and having four kids in that room so the biggest thing to us was having big bedrooms for the kids so that's what we're leaning towards doing getting exciting we've got to you know finalize a few things still waiting to close on the land so that's our update on this journey if you will um, just thought that we would take you along with touring the homes and kind of our game plan and what we're thinking. And thanks for hanging out with us and we'll see y'all in the next video.